What is up, guys? It's Ryan Mason here, hanging out at Jacksonville Auto Mart. And today I just wanted to answer a question that I get asked quite a bit, and I thought this would just be a good opportunity to kind of go over it for everybody. I'm sure if a few people are asking, there's quite a few more that need the answer to it as well, and this would be something I can just send somebody in the future. So the question is, uh, if I'm going to trade my vehicle, or if I'm planning on selling my vehicle and buying something else, am I better off trading the vehicle in, or am I better off selling it and then buying the other vehicle outright um, tax-wise? And what is that difference, uh, and, and how could I figure that to see like what the margin would be, right? So if you trade something in Illinois, and this changed a couple years ago, and they've changed it back since uh, because it was very confusing, and I don't think they knew what was going on. So anyway. They've changed it back. So in Illinois, you only pay tax on the difference price. So I'm gonna give you just a quick example. And this is something that uh, I'll throw up. I guess I got a little room right here. We'll just go ahead and throw up the numbers right there, right? So if you trade a vehicle in, and let's say the vehicle you're purchasing is $30,000, and the one that you're trading in is still worth $20,000, you're being allowed $20,000 on trade. In Illinois, you only pay tax on the difference price, right? So 30,000 minus 20,000 is 10,000. Illinois sales tax, at least uh, for the majority of folks, if you don't have a city sales tax as well, the Illinois state sales tax on a vehicle is 6.25%. So in this example, it'd be $10,000 at six and a quarter percent. $625 is how much you would be paying in sales tax if you traded your vehicle and there was a $10,000 difference between what your vehicle is worth and what the new vehicle is worth. So. If you were not to trade your vehicle in, let's say you didn't trade your vehicle in and you just purchased this vehicle for $30,000, somebody was going to give you twenty grand, um, maybe a buddy or something like that, said, hey, I'll give you what they're going to give you on trade. Okay, so you purchased a new vehicle for $30,000. You now have to pay tax on the entire amount and not just the difference. So you're paying tax on that $30,000 at 6.25%. So, uh, you know, in this example, it's literally three times as much. And that's going to be uh, 1875 is how much you'd have to pay in sales tax. So the difference between those two, the 1875 minus 625, you're paying $1,250 more in this example in sales tax. So if you were to sell it outright, you should sell it for $1,250 more, or you're coming out behind in that example. Um, so you know you can kind of plug those numbers in however you want, but it's new vehicle minus your old vehicle is a difference price times six and a quarter percent is what you'll be getting getting charged in state sales tax. So just remember that formula. That is going to be a helpful hint for you in the future. Let me know what other questions you guys might have. Have a good evening.